Hello and welcome back, finally! Ah, oh, that was a long absence. A long absence of about a month and a bit. A month? Well, for you looking at this channel, this will be my first video and you'll be going, Why? How? He's not been on at all. This is his first video. It's not my first video. My first video, or well, yeah, was in February. Uh, when I started this channel with a bloke called Orson. Um, and... Yes, well, um, that happened, and it was... And we'd had it going for about November, accumulated some subscribers and so on, and then he decided he needed, he wanted to go and get into railway photography, so I was like, that's fine, so the channel's mine now. And he said it was, and that's fine, so... Um... Yeah. Then on January, um, I woke up and went on to find that all the videos have been removed, all the account details have been changed, including the password. So, after recovering the account, and by the way, thank you very much, Google, for making your account recovery system fair, so that people who know the account could actually get in. Thank you very much, you're one of the few people who can actually bloody do that. But, anyway, so that happened, and now uh, I, was w I was without videos on January the 25th, and um, this is the first one. This is my welcome back video, so hello people! And in this final part, I will be driving from Carlisle all the way to Coatbridge. It will take be taking me a little under three hours. And I will be stopping at Abingdon Goods Loops. I'll be stopping at Abingdon Goods Loops, um, Quintin Shill Loops, and the Betock Loops on the way. The storm has stopped, because this is part four of, uh, of four. The storm has stopped, quote, as suddenly as it began, which is quite good. Um, partly because that adds a bit of variety, but also because, um, yeah, it's, um, the train didn't exactly like going, having a cold start from Betok and then immediately going onto a 1 in 80 gradient with a very heavy train behind it, so, you know. Somewhere over the rainbow, there's not a rainbow, but it would be quite nice if there was one. Ah, oh, I can go. Brilliant. Not at a hundred percent. There we go, moving nice and smoothly. I don't need to do announcements because this is a freight train. While I've been away, there have been an awful lot of things that have um, happened in the community. Um, I'd quite like to discuss them, and I probably will do. But firstly, I am going to discuss the things. Now, thing one. Dovetail Games removed a load of things from the Steam store. Um, they removed the Class 117, they removed the Acceler Express, they removed Northeast Corridor, um, Class 156, and some others, I think Portland or Coal Terminal. Now, okay, so you you may be sitting at home going, ah, they removed um, bits of broken slash faulty DLC, what's wrong with that? Aha! Now! Aha! They didn't tell us. They informed us. They said sweet F.A. about it until people started getting vocal on the forums and then they wheeled out Dovetail Games J or James, I don't know which, I'm sorry. Um, they they wheeled out a Dovetail Games person to say this is why we did it, soz. Now, my problem is this, you didn't tell us before you did it, you didn't have some sort of consultation, you just removed them. And the 117, 
You removed the 117, but then you didn't remove the marketplace stuff for a bit. It is now removed. Thank goodness common sense prevailed. But for a while, you couldn't get the 117, but you could get the 117 Network Southeast marketplace reskin. What the heck? Anyway, so that they were all removed, and then the 117, I'm using the 117 quite a lot, popped up on the new um, Somerset Heritage Railway. I think it's called the North Somerset Railway. Great, you may think. It's eight miles long, and it doesn't exist yet. It's going to be another gull. Another frickin' gull. I don't want another frickin' Glasgow Airport Rail Link. Glasgow Airport Rail Link is the most overpriced route in history of this game. It's 25 quid for the bit from... Glasgow Airport to Paisley Gilmore Street, which, as you know, isn't very far, and then an extra bit onto Glasgow International Airport. That's nothing. The price is essentially £2 per mile. That's ridiculous. And then you have a look at the, this route, the West Coast Mainline North I'm driving. It's flipping huge! Carlisle lines around Glasgow. That is, that's, this is a route that's worth £25. I'm getting wheel slip, I'm very sorry. I am also going to be taking these pictures that I take um, when I play through my scenarios. Um, so, yep, and also, um, I'm going to be getting an annoyingly low frame rate, because despite the fact that I get, f I've been getting 40 frames per second on previous scenarios, this one decides it will run currently at about 16. It's run a lot higher than that when I was testing this a little bit without recording, it ran at, what, 30, 40 most of the time? It hit 50 a couple of times. This time, no, it's going to stay at a steady 16. That's not very good, is it? No, it's not. But hey, I've kind of got used to this expletive. And also, here's a little tip. Don't save until... 10 to 7 game time. Don't save until then, because otherwise you screw up portals and so on. And nobody likes screwing up portals. Well, what that what I mean is I've got trains that overtake me, because trains do overtake me in this scenario. Trains that overtake me spawn from the portal um, here. They spawn from this portal. And if you save before all the trains have spawned, then the trains sometimes don't spawn from the portals. It's an incredibly annoying thing that I find incredibly annoying, but that's how it rolls, and so I'm afraid one is going to have to compensate for this. So please do not save until... Well... No. Um, until after the Betok loop thing. No, I don't... <sighs> Grr. I've not saved either of those times I've pressed cancel. <laughs> Train approaching. Anyway, um, so, that's that, and so, ooh, the thing here, it highlights how incredibly bad Dovetail games are at PR, because, you know, you can get away with so much if you have a slick PR machine. I mean, take the Conservative Party as a case study, the Conservative Party in the United Kingdom. They've got a lot away with with an awful lot. An awful lot. And they also have a great PR machine. They do have a brilliant PR machine, and um, which means that they can get away with things like the bedroom tax and the pa 
pasty tax and all this lot. And despite saying, and I know this is poli po politics and politicians lie an awful lot, um, and in fact I do global politics, so I'm kind of getting more politicky, if that makes sense. But um, David Cameron specifically said before the election he wouldn't cut child tax credit, and then he did. Ooh, but then, well, they did, and then there was a U-turn, because politicians make an awful lot of U-turns. It's like a sort of horseshoe. They should all have a horseshoe, and every time they make a U-turn, they should just chuck a horseshoe at their own head. So they don't come up with the incredible crap that sometimes chunders out of politicians' mouths. Anyway, so they do all that, they and then they sort of get Google to pay a bit of money, and like, 130 million... Sounds like a lot of money, but if you'll Google, that's like 20 quid. It's not very... oh, not nine. Um, because, you know, I... <laughs> it's... it's just appalling. And then they try and spin it as if it's the best thing that's ever happened. Oh my gosh, we managed to get them to pay this tiny amount of money. Great. Um, it, it is, it, it, that's apparently how it works, and so you get loads of political spin and so on. But Dovetail Games don't have any kind of PR, so they've removed about eight items of DLC from the one. And if they just said, we're going to remove these items because of this, there would have been a bit of backlash, but not that much. Not as much as they, get, as they were getting, with people going, you know, maybe it was quite... Oh, don't you dare freeze on me. That was, that was scary. That was scary. Anyway... If they just said, I mean, they could have given all of them out for free if they're that bad. Just say, you know, thanks very, very much for being with us. You know, we value you as customers. Here's a load of free things. Um, yeah. And and that's how it. I, I think it should have been done. But no, apparently not. And as a scenario creator, I find this frustrating. Because the 156 especially is used in quite a lot of scenarios. And you saw it just back there. Um, Scott Rail use 156s a lot. Northern Rail use 156s a lot. Um... East Midland trains use 156s a lot, although not in the context of Dovetail Games Route, where East Midland train services also run. But, you know, not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. So, that happened, and then... They hoped, I, I don't think, apparently it's not, it's just a temporary thing and they're going to re-release them. Maybe it's some, maybe we like the 6-6 six, six and we'll have 158, 156 V2 and I'll pay another 12 quid and that will be horrible and I'll hate them more than I already do now. Um, uh, but I hope we, if people who already own the 156 or a lace a seller express or whatever if they do make a v2 they should give them for free for everyone who has that train because otherwise shows that they're money grabbing ruthless piles of utter expletive and no matter how many times they wheel out matt peddleston the face of dovetail games flying <sighs> matt peddleston is the exception to the rule that all the faces of every single company have to be eye candy and he'll be wheeled out to try and defend this move and um, uh, drive the 156 by failing to stop at Nebworth um, and so on and so forth and then that will be a thing and then stuff and blah 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 and cake and but we won't we won't I, I, I'm not gonna you don't get fooled by that or some people do. I try not to, because, well, it's you're falling for stuff, and I don't don't really like falling for stuff. 
I don't fall for things in real life. Well, unless it's like a large amount of money that I've dropped or a phone I've dropped, then I will fall over. Well, it will be a controlled fall over. If it's anything I've dropped, to be fair, even if it's rubbish, because I'm not a litter bug. I, I, you know, there are bins and bins are specifically there to receive rubbish and so on. Blah blah blah. I'm driving Clark train six six four two nine. The next stop will be Quintin Shield Down Loops. I've decided that because there are waits, instead of me trying to comment over long waits, I'm essentially just going to put music on. And I apologise for the fact that my taste of music hasn't evolved uh, for an awfully long time. Um, say some people, I think it's brilliant and I think the best music was composed ages ago. But anyway. That's just my opinion. And so I will put on my choice of music and if you want you can just mute it and choose your own. But that's what I'll do because this is simulating the life of an actual proper freight driver. Not this geezer because he's uh, virtual and doesn't really exist. Um, and neither do I. I. I don't exist. I'm just a voice. But then, do does, does anyone of us exist? You know, does Scotland exist in this in this world that we've created? Scotland exists, but you know, do we actually exist, or is this just some sort of weird fallacy? And what is a fallacy? That's quite an easy thing to explain. Um, I I shouldn't really be doing this because. I find it incredibly tedious when people do this and I'm like, I'm trying to have a normal conversation with you and if you're just going to do this, I'll just piss off, shall I? Yes, I'll do that. And then, um, and I probably do it quite a lot, I'm usually quite flippant because that's how I roll. Oh uh, yeah, I roll by just flip, being flipped constantly and if you don't know what flippant means then look it up. Uh, things such as search engines and so on. Are available for you to use and so you can use them and maybe you even have a disc a dictionary on your desk please don't shorten that first word to just one syllable and then add on your desk to the end because if you do then I'm not going to say anything now 95 soon to be reduced to 40 and I don't mind that I'm a bit late because as you will see uh, stop at instruction. The timing for this is sort of very, very loose. It says depart at 1803, and that's when I will be departing, and that's when the game will allow me to... I'll shut up, and I will just do a demonstration of how long uh, 11 minutes looks like in a stop at instruction. So, as you can see, we are rolling gently. bumping over this lot. I'm slowing down a bit too quickly, I think.
I'll be a minute late, but that's fine. Maybe I edit the timings a bit, I think I will. <sighs> gently does it, gently, gently does it. Right, time for a picture. Oh no, there. on. Now, this is how long nine minutes is. This is how long nine minutes is to the game in a stop at instruction. You can see it's 1754 to 1803, so that's nine minutes, but look how long it is. There we go, it's 20 seconds. So, now it's time to enjoy some lovely, lovely music. See you at the other side. What's happening here is a train hasn't spawned, um, which is exciting, because now I have to go despawn the area, come back, press pause ba break twice, and now I won't get a sodding good shot. That's not a good shot, is it? This is horrible. Anyway, that will have to do. But now, I can essentially go, I'm going to take my parking brake off. Wait for, for that. There we go. Here we go. Forward to Betok Loop. Slowly. Ish. Come on. I know I've only got it at 50%. I can probably whack it up to 75 without getting wheel slip? I hope so.
into 87%? Can I do it all the way to 100? Whack. Boom! I'm off. I'm off like a really fat heavy freight train although not quite as large as the American ones people I mean nah I don't I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry I had to I had to I had to stop blaming me I had to it was just waiting to be said and I had to say it it now Anyway, other things that have happened. Well, some things have been released. Bits of DLC that, um, yes, very interesting. Although, I would like to just talk about Richard Fletcher, the reskinner that many, many people know. Um, he does brilliant reskins. Now, I'm going to say stuff. And it's exciting because a guy I know on Steam called Super Elbs or Albi or whatever um, makes reskins. He makes very good reskins, but he's not that well known because, um, anyway. Uh, recently, Mungo from DB Simulation, uh, we remember Mungo, the um, Mungo ness of the one who just became a complete twit and now has sodded off into irrelevance but anyway that happened and super albs but he accused super albs of stealing his reskins in the face of no evidence and i can say that safely because they did weren't stolen and blah 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 essentially what happened is super albs had done a better reskin of the same train and mungo had got annoyed and decided to get what the hell Whoa, 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 mate, you're levitating, mate, you're, you're, you're levitating, what are you doing, you're actually levitating, oh my god, that is so retro, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying, stop judging me, there's a tractor there, he's not standing on any kind of ground, whatever the heck that is, um, It's a bit, um, weird. Very, very, very weird, I mean. That's just odd. Why is, why is there just some random bloke levitating above the track next to a bridge with a tractor? Anyway, back to the discussion. Anyway, so, that happened, and then Super Albs, um, made a reskin of the class 166 um, in Great Western Railways livery Richard Fletcher did one then he made one of the class 172 in London Overground Richard Fletcher did one then he did a class 170 in Southwest Trains livery and Richard Fletcher did one have you spotted a pattern yet? Richard Fletcher is taking away people from Super Albs because, um, to his site, essentially, because Super Albs is less well known, despite the fact that his reskins in this in these situations are actually better, except for the 172, which has fewer custom destinations. But anyway, the Class 170, his is definitely better than Richard Fletcher's, but more people go to Richard Fletcher's because Richard Fletcher is a lot more well known. Richard Fletcher is bleeding out competition here. And this, I have said before, that Richard Fletcher kind of has a monopoly over the reskin, um, sort of, place, because, um... Uh, Richard Fletcher, uh, he does very good reskins, he's very well known, and he hosts stuff on DP Simulation, and his stuff is hosted on DP Simulation. This is essentially the only thing that is keep actually keeping DP Simulation going at this point. But, 
he is snuffing out competition left, right and centre at this point. And I don't like that. I don't like when the big guys at the top snuff out competition. It's very, very annoying. I find it incredibly unfair. I know it's how the world works and you can all call me a naive, wishy-washy thing. Um, but I, I, yeah. Um, this community, it's very simple, you've got big guys at the top who no but nobody will dare question, or people who do question, sort of, kind of get shouted down. Um, I think, I think Richard Fletcher is turning into one of the, um, one of them, and I don't like that. Especially as with his 319s that he did, he did them for the middle and mainline version, and he wouldn't do them for the class 319 version, and he just didn't want anyone to question why. Which I found quite suspicious. Um, then there were loads of other things, and it's all very horrible. And I'm just, I distrust Richard Fletcher quite a bit. Um, but I have no choice other than to use quite a few of his reskins because they are the best out there in most cases, which is quite annoying. But then, if there is an alternative to not Richard Fletcher one to use a non-Richard Fletcher one, then, um, I'll, I'll, I'll use it. And it will be quite fun, because chicken. Yes, I, I saw the conversation petered out. Sorry, I thought I'd missed a train. And anyway back to this journey we're still a good 25 just under miles from Betok and I still haven't reached 75 miles per hour yet which isn't good I quite like to reach 75 miles per hour at some point anyway I need to take quite a few, I need to take screenshots of this, because, you know, I, this is my pre-release run, so I do have to take my publicity screenshots, um, to make sure I publicise it, and that's fun, also, but, also things are happening, and this journey is quite, it's very long, Daventry to Cope Bridge is uh, quite a normal one, I think. Quite a few trains do Daventry to Cope Bridge or Moss End to Cope Bridge, or Moss End to Daventry. Or Cope Bridge to Crewe. That's the other common one. There are quite a lot of freight things running. Anyway, so this is very long. Parts 1 to 3 have already been released on the workshop. As I am speaking, they are out. Uh, links, etc. will be in the description. Um, I will also be releasing videos, I think, less frequently, probably, because it's getting quite stressful. The IB is getting stressful, and lots of things are happening, and it's all sort of coming down, which is, yeah, you could view it as a good thing, but... It is very hard, so I'm going to be making fewer and fewer videos as a year goes on, and then I'll just sort of stop making videos completely um, next year around this time, because I've got, you know, lots of exams, which is exciting. And then, um... I'll be seeing, I'll be evaluating where my life is and going from there, which is fun. Um, but, back to this, the only reason why I have time to do a three hour plus video is because I'm on half term holiday. And stuff like that, which is pretty good because I quite like half term holiday. But, um, <sighs> come on. 
going quite well, I think. Um, Daventry to Stafford was part one. Then Preston to T Bay, and then T Bay to Carlisle. Those were parts two and three. And I'm now on part four, which is by far the longest of the parts. This is 170 minutes end to end. Which is, uh, needless to say, very, very long. Um, and I'm currently running a minute late, which isn't amazingly good, but I don't particularly care about. <sighs> so many 350 slash 4s that I've seen in this these scenarios. I think I've used all of them bar one. I've not used 408 or 409. I've used all the ones. 401 to 407 and 410. I've used the rest of them I haven't used. So that's eight of the ten 350s past me in this scenario. Or these scenarios, I should say. So it's quite um fun, I guess. And I have had to have a text document telling me what Pendolinos and uh, London Midland, not London, First Trans Pennine Express 350s I've had so that I don't duplicate trains, which is not a good idea to do. And also so that I, I have the, the, the Pendolino that passed us, um, the first Pendolino that passed us as we were coming out of Carlisle, that Pendolino we actually saw back in part one, or you would have seen back in part one. One of the first Pendos to overtake us, I think. Anyway, 390009. Um, sounds exciting, and it isn't. Because I don't find many things exciting, and this is one of the things I don't find exciting. Come on, power. Let's keep moving. Okay, so this. This looks like quite a nice clear point for a screenshot. Fun and power and all that lot. Betok, I'm getting slightly late uh, for. So, just by a number of seconds, but it doesn't really matter. I'm finding this fun. And also, three hours is an awful lot of commentary time to fill. And, as you can tell, I'm not doing a very good job of it. So, I think I will probably have to rope in a person to speak about stuff. Which is fun, because... I like people speaking about stuff to me. It's an activity I enjoy quite a lot. And talking to people about stuff is quite fun, but um, not all the time, because sometimes I like to drive a train. And this is a train I'm driving. Mm. Go away Skype, go away. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, the West Coast Main Line North, I think, is one of the best routes. Um, in terms of scenery detail, it looks pretty good. I mean, obviously, it's not the best, because it is quite old. It's quite an old route, but um, certainly, in terms of length, it has a very good trump card to play. And... In terms of detail, it's it's very, very good. There are some errors, and because it's quite an old route as well, um, there are some things which we would expect to exist today, or on a route that exists, that was made to uh, this kind of time, 
none was made previously, but hey ho, as I don't say at all, hey ho is not a thing that should really be said, unless you're talking about something minor like an Some, talking about something minor, which is always fun and exciting. But anyway... If we keep moving about now... Well, I'm not moving about. Um, we're obviously going to keep moving about. I have now hit maximum speed, which is quite fun. I do like hitting maximum speed on trains. And if you think about the momentum on this, this has got an awful lot of momentum, because I've got 1,250 tons on the back of this thing. And this is a pretty powerful beast, so... <sighs> it's all going to be exciting and good. Ooh, I'm going to get triple AI action here. Excitement's generated. Yeah, this is the, these two eighty sixes. I think are on one of the um, crew Coat Bridge to crew trains. I think. I think. And I don't have the class eighty six Armstrong Powerhouse sound pack, which is annoying because uh, yeah, that is that one is sounds very good. And I do love the eighty six. The eighty six and eighty seven are two of the. I'm sorry about that. Are two of the best trains. Certainly best electric locos, and then there's the 9-2, which is spectacular. I think 8-6s and 9-2s are best, the best locos. Um, then there's the HST, um, which is of course a locomotive, because Class 43s is a locomotive, and then you just sandwich Mark three coaches between them. Um, I do love them. I don't think they should be replaced, personally, because they're still doing their job, but... Um, Anyway, where the government will waste money, it will waste money, because it it, it, it it wastes money an awful lot of the time. An awful lot of the time, which is incredibly annoying. And network rail isn't that good either, because oh, they've done some stupid things. There was... Oh, they've done... Th they... They buy things that are cheap, but have an incredibly low lifespan. So if there was a thing that lasted 20 years and cost 500 quid, and there was a thing that lasted 2 years and cost 450 quid, they go for the thing that cost 450 quid if evidence is to be believed. Which, to a sane person, would, they would be going, what? Uh, but um, uh, apparently they don't think like that. And anyway, but um, this is not to be compared. What the heck was that? Okay, that is, um... That is interesting. Oh, good lord. They haven't. They have. They have. Let's just let my freight train go past. Then we can. Then I can expect inspect more closely this wire, which I haven't noticed at all. So it's here. Completely misses out this one. Goes down and then jumps back up. What? What is going on, mate? What is going on? That is utterly, utterly stupid, and very hilarious. As you can tell by the fact I'm laughing an awful lot. I mean, that's just, that's just pathetic. That is absolutely pathetic. Come on, if you're building a route, you can't, and test driving it and so on, that can't escape your, that shouldn't be escaping your thing. Well, I'm, I'm going to be sending a... A 
kind of letter, not letter, thing to Dovetail Games saying, uh, this needs updated. I do, you notice I'm uploading these, I do like to upload, um, the various cock-ups that happen because, surprisingly, or not unsurprisingly actually, if you've been in the community very long, um, there are an awful lot of cock-ups. This is... Don't you just love to get on a long train journey and just sit back and blast your way up the West Coast Main Line? Or uh, the East Coast Main Line for that matter, because we have got a large chunk of the East Coast Main Line available. Not amazingly good, mentioning no names. <coughs> Dunbar! <coughs> Sorry. Dunbar, though. Oh, that is horrible! That's absolutely horrible. I mean, if you look... If you look at the difference between Dunbar Station, the actual Dunbar Station sign, and then the Dunbar Station um, on the Just Trains Newcastle to Edinburgh route, it's utterly, utterly shocking. In fact, let me show it to you right now. So, let's have a look then. This is Dunbar Railway Station. This is the Dunbar Railway Station sign from Dunbar Railway Station. Have a look at it, you know. Get to grips with its existence and how it looks like. Or how it looks rather like was tautologous and irrelevant. There we go. This is how just trains have represented it. What? It's Comic Sans! Just Oh, it's horrible. Ugh. That's... That's... That's nothing like! Okay, they've managed to get white text and a black background. Great. They've not done anything else. Why the heck would anybody think that was acceptable? That is the worst thing ever in the history of Train Simulator, apart from the first Capital Connect 321, which, by the way... Why the heck? was the first Capital Connect 321 not removed in terms of it being faulty. Well, because it is. It's faulty. It is the worst thing ever to exist on the Steam store. Apart maybe from some of those games that certain, that pff, just are horrible. Grass Simulator. I mean, I don't know what that was. Just certain games that you look at and go, What the hell is going on? Because Steam, I mean, I don't really have a problem with Steam, because Steam is quite good for me. I ha It's kind of a social, sort of social messaging platform type thing where I can talk to people and all sorts of stuff. And I can also play games, and I tend to do quite a lot of research before ploughing in and buying the game, because it's real world money, guys. And stuff. I know I am Steam level 12, um, so I've obviously put money into creating badges and so on. Um, but whatever. Stop. Stop judging me. There are people who are level 130, or 900 and something, which is utterly, 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 utterly ridiculous. It is the most ridiculous thing. Why the heck would you be in the in the night levels in the 900s? I mean, that 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 sh <laughs> that should not be a thing, man. That. But it apparently is a thing. Um, the high uh, people on levels on level nine hundred, um, which is uh, I don't know why. I have absolutely no idea why. And then there are people with a hundred friends or so on. Why? Why? What's the need? 2,000 friends is a number. Yeah, the highest leveled Steam person is level 914. What the 
bloody point is being level 914 on Steam? What's the point? That means that guy can have 91 showcases. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I mean, just stop. I, I have no idea. It's the most ridiculous thing to be that... I mean, 914. What are you doing with your life? To be level 914 on Steam. How much is your profile worth? Because you can actually check out the worth of people's profiles if you really want. This string of AI means I am nearing Betok. Now, if I've if the sound pack hasn't uninstalled itself, listen to the magic of the class three one nine slash three two five sound pack. Exactly. That I think is the best sound pack, the three one nine, because the three one nine is an utterly amazingly is an utter amazingly utterly amazingly sounding train. That's the sentence I was trying to extract out of my mouth and brain. Um and I said it. So I, I, in my opinion it I think it's the best thing, especially when it's got when it's when there's wheel slip. It's that and the three seven six are the two best trains in terms of sound for wheel slip. The three seven six, um, in my opinion, is officially the worst train. Uh, in south, definitely in Southeastern's fleet, I think it's the worst commuter train because, oh my gosh, the seats are horrible. They're so thin. I mean, you hit them a couple of times, great vast clouds of ash come out, ash, or dust rather. I'm, and so on. they've got a little metal strip. So if I, at the moment, if I put my head back with any kind of force, it's it's specifically in that place. So I just bang my head on this metal strip, not on a piece of quite thin felt. Um, it's every time the, when it's warm, and I put the air conditioning on, there's a horrible throbbing noise, which is horrible, and a throbbing noise. Um, yeah, it's just, oh, they're so bad. They don't have toilets either. They have no toilets. I've, I'm embedded in whatever the heck that is. They have no toilets. That is the worst thing. Come on, you should really have toilet. I mean, especially if we're going to um, time them for services up to Gravesend from London. I mean, that's that's quite a long journey. So you are going to need to have toilets on these things. Frankly, all trains should have toilets unless they're London Underground trains. And even then, I mean, Metropolitan Line, you know, the Metropolitan Line trains are sort of long. In, their journeys are long enough because Aldgate to Amersham isn't a negligible distance. Neither is Baker Street to Amersham, to be fair. The distances aren't negligible, so, you know. I mean, I get though that you've kind of got to have some form of I've slowed down far too much haven't I I have slowed down far too much but never fear the ghost bus I don't know stop judging me stop judging stop judging me yeah I know I've got wheel slip I'm very sorry So, Betok um, thing is next, and then we will have approximately 11 minutes of music. Something like that. 
and then stuff will happen. So here we go, climbing gently. I really shouldn't have broken that hard. I'm a crap driver. Look at these sheep that are totally not static and totally not completely cloned and totally not made out of gravel texture. What an appalling game. What an utterly, an utterly, 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 utterly appalling game. Just utterly appalling. Just... <sighs> Here we go. I'm, I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to lay off the throttle, haul my big fat train into the Betok loops. There used to be a station here, but then there's no longer a station, and then they built another loop, and then it just became a freight loop place. And so, yep, that's my stopping point, and here is a train that looks like it's leaving the Betok loops. Don't want him, don't want the, her to stop now. I really don't, come on. Come on. There we go, now. This train does break when it needs to, it, oh boy it does. Don't you dare stop though. There we go. Slowly but surely, I'll slot on. Parking brake on. Brilliant. 
And now, it's time for some exciting music. We have an approaching set of couplers. And now a train has appeared. Okay, so, parking brake off. Brake off. We will be allowed to go. I am going to whack it into forward. Yeah, I know this wheel slip, darling. I'll stick on a bit of sand for you. Ah, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, I know there's wheel slip, but I am, I have to get a big power up, because look at that relentless gradient. Yeah, here we go. Go, come on, come on. Up. Power. Pe yes, I've not got wheel slip. Brilliant. I've got traction. I can get myself up. Brilliant. Nah, Gradient, you're no match for this beast. Beast. This beast of a train. clear that, but it won't register that I've cleared it at all because this is a game that never improves. Now, no, it does improve, I'm being a bit unfair there, it does improve. Oh, and this, I think, also heralds the time where we are allowed to save. Yes, there we go. That train is making its way through the um, stuff of Carlisle. So, I am allowed to save.
and we move up getting traction and accelerating ish yep we're accelerating just find the grip and then we're going Maining, maintaining 24.4 Yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. <sighs> now, I have some things to do. And the main thing I want to talk about um, is the Just Trains announcement that you'll all have seen about, or you may not have done, but anyway, um, you'll have seen, you may have seen, ah, oh, screw it. The Just, Just Trains announced they were going to make the Western Main Line. Um, and it's going to be a massive route, 300 miles roughly, so it's bigger than this route. It's going to be the biggest route in Train Simulator. Um, and they're going to make it... Um, and... Yeah, it's going to be brilliant. Let's have a look at some of the um, sc screenshots and so on. So, here we go. Now, if you have a look at this, um, there are an awful lot of screenshots, and it this does include the updated Reading model somewhere. There, here we go, updated Reading model. Um, electrification it will include. It will include an awful lot of things, we hope. And I have definitely been led to believe by that. Um, doesn't it looks sort of normal, just trains quality? To be honest, maybe a bit better, um, but it includes a hell of a lot. Set between 2013 and 2015. So yeah. So it has Paddington to Bristol, it has Bristol to Cardiff, and it has Bristol to Exeter. But it also has. But it also has, um, things. Gosh, what am I thinking? It also has the branch to, um, um, Avonmouth and Seven Beach. That's what it has. Not making it up, hang on. First service to Seven Beach. Has all sorts of stuff. Avonmouth Docks. It has an awful bloody lot. And it's seriously good. And I'm seriously pleased. Look, I've got a smile on my face, which you can definitely see. Hang on! No, you, you won't be able to. It's funny because... Tomatoes. Uh, anyway... If I center, this diesel is doing pretty well for a 1 in 80 gradient now. Pretty bloody well. The 6.6 6 is a brilliant engine, in my opinion. And there have been new deliveries. Um, there were a load, the last, I think, 6.6s, six delivered in GBRF livery, delivered to um, the UK, um, I think up to 779? I'm not entirely sure. But there are now n hundreds and hundreds of Class 66s. Hundreds of them. They are, as Train Simulator would put it, the workhorse of the freight market, of the UK freight industry, and they're bloody good at their job. They are... Oh, they're brilliant things. Love them to bits. All that. <laughs> oh, 
brilliant. They do everything in the freight market. So much. Your British railway scene will almost certainly include a Class 66. That's a far better one. Also, it's kind of a comment on society when it says Friends is not available in offline mode. Mm. We're not talking to anyone, we're just doing it on, on, all online. Uh, I sound like I'm 86, and I always sound like I'm 86 because that's how my voice is made. Um, well, I don't, I just sound like I'm middle-aged. And some sort of Viscount, I don't know. That's what I've been told, just in slightly more generic terms. By generic, I mean, <laughs> you sound posh. Or, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know why you lot care, so I, I'll, I'll shut up. I think that's probably the best thing, if I just shut up and stopped speaking. This, these videos will probably be much more boring. because it would just be a train driving. And don't get me wrong, I do like watching this kind of thing. I, but I find commentary videos more engaging than non-commentary videos when it comes to train simulator. You know? But then you get some incredibly bland commentary videos, which are... I mean, ugh, some of them are the worst type of commentary, and you think, oh gosh, can you just be quiet and stop speaking? And ugh, I think you need to be yourself in these commentary videos. You shouldn't try and copy anyone else. Copying other people never goes well, um, unless you're deliberately trying to do it. In which case, I mean deliberately trying to take the piss out of yourself for copying somebody. Which I suppose, if you are, then um, well done. Ah, uh, it's getting d it's getting dark now, which is fun. So there should be some lovely, lovely sunsets. But yes, um, this is going to be a brilliant thing, I hope. It's absolutely massive, over 300 miles, all sorts of things happening. Yeah, obviously there are going to be these horrible, horrible um, Horrible, horrible things. Anyway, this should be good. The horrible, horrible just train scenarios, which are never good. They're the worst things. You know, Armstrong Powerhouse does scenarios. <laughs> Payware? I mean, I suppose. But, you know, there was some th st stuff on the workshop is to their standard. Uh, anyway, but... I'm very, very excited for this, and there is one person who is much more excited for this than I am, um, because they are, they have been constantly going on about it, and they're incredibly excited. Uh, right, oh gosh, 1 in 77, we're getting steeper! Uh, I'm going to lose so much speed. got to have the sound. Oh, shush. Come on. Get traction. Get moving and powering. That's quite a fun scene there. We can be, we could be going at 100 miles an hour, but no, we're going at 23 and, and 0.7. Oh, I'm going to open my window. There's a bit of change in audio, actually, there. Ah, <sighs> uh, three hours I've got to fill. Three sodding hours and I'm 
flipping it up already. Anyway, I've also... But, uh, while this route includes Paddington to Bristol, Bristol to Cardiff, Bristol to Exeter, and Bristol to Seven Beach, this was not roughly the point, but my computer crashed. Um, so, well, yes, my computer ran out of battery, and so it quickly went to sleep, and that meant Train Simulator crashed, which was fantastic. So, I'm in r not roughly the same place, but you've not missed any AI action. We were just back there when the recording cut out, I think. Um, anyway, um, but that brings me on to this exciting thing, um, because while, as I was saying before, while the Just Trains version of their Western Main Line contains Bristol to Paddington, um, Exeter to Bristol to Exeter, and Bristol to Cardiff, and also Paddington to Cardiff. Um, the Dove Dovetail Games decided to release um, Bristol to Cardiff. Yes, Bristol to Cardiff is coming soon to Train Simulator. Now, the flagship train on this route... Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to cut myself off. These are supposed to be cars, but there aren't any car wagons that I have that are compatible for the workshop. So I've just had to use tractors instead. Gets the feeling across. Anyway, 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 anyway. The flagship train is going to be the Class 175. Now, how much of Bristol to Cardiff do you think the Class 175 runs on? Cardiff to Newport! Yeah, that's nothing. Um, maybe Cardiff to Southern Tunnel Junction, or I... Although I don't think um, the Class 175 is a regular visitor on the uh, Cheltenham Spa to Cardiff route. I don't think it is, but um, hey-ho. And they... Seriously, that's not the thing you do if you want to have the Class 175 as your flagship locomotive. I mean, that's, that's just thick. That's incredibly thick. I don't know what you're thinking. Because they run on no part on the so so little part of the route. So the 175 is gonna be the flagship. The 43 runs on most of it. The class 70, no idea. Um it's really the 158. Um, the 158 in First Great Western livery, or the 150, are really the trains that it used the most. Um, but apparently, uh, no. Apparently, no. Yeah, apparently no. So, um, we continue to, um, I say suffer, and I mean suffer. We just sort of, I'll save here. Continue to have short linear routes from Dovetail Games. And it's. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's purely for the money. You look at the, the all the recent routes, they've all been short, they've all been linear. And it's incredibly frustrating, because I like something like the West Coast Mainline North. Oh, hello, there's a, a train. But I do like something like the West Coast Mainline North, because it's bloody long, but also it's got a nice number of branches to it, because I bet, I guarantee, if, if if this was done now, they wouldn't, you may have the Lanark branch, you wouldn't have all this lot, you wouldn't have a lot of this lot, but Keith Ross 
has done these bits, the stuff to Lark Hall and the stuff and all these lines. It's it's brilliant, frankly. I it's so worth the Oh now it's not, it's I think it's ten pounds now, it's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Seriously, ten pounds, that's a bargain of the century. I do love the scenery though as, as well, I mean, it's not the best scenery, but it's pretty good. Um, I'm not particularly a fan of these, I think they're 2D sprites, they look 2D spritey. Oh my god. They are. They're 2D sprites, well, you know, create a forest and all that stuff. Where's my train? There's my train, snaking its way. I'll get a snap of it as it goes past a river. Something like that. Oh god, don't crash. Oh, that was that was tense. That was tense. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get a screenshot of it in the river, but oh well. Well, not in the river. Um, if I if I drove this train into a river, I'd be sacked. I'd probably also be dead. Which isn't a pleasant thought, apparently. Anyway, come on.
I've realised I'm not doing much commentary. I'm just sort of driving a train, not saying anything. But that's because I've kind of run out of things to say now. Um, essentially, I'm going incredibly slowly up an incline. metal. So anyway, um, at Abingdon Loop there will be another... wait? Oh gosh, I don't know what to talk about anymore! I've... I'm... I've kind of gone on for an hour and a half. I'm halfway through the scenario nearly, not quite-ish, slightly. And I don't know what to say. Oh, and to keep ranting about things. Oh, I've... <sighs> I'm probably going to be doing some other games. I've got, in my library currently, I've got Cook, Serve, Delicious, Euro Truck, The Forest, Mini Metro, Papers, Please, Stanley Parable, Terraria, Train Simulator, and Turbo Dismount. I'm probably going to bring back Papers, Please, because I absolutely love that. And also Cook, Serve, Delicious, which is like Papers, Please, um, just with... Just with some food instead of passport documents. And that's fun, isn't it? Apparently. Oh, I've completely missed. Oh well, I'll just snap it now. Now, I'm really getting. I'm actually. I'm going to go above a certain speed for a while. Ah. So that was better. And then it's Abingdon. Then it's Abingdon. Ah, we're going down a hill now. Ah, oh, that was a bit. Uh, that was a climb and a half. That was a climb and a half. But they call it Betok Summit because it's the summit. And now I'm racing down.
speed and power and the rest of it as I accelerate for another seven miles to Abingdon Goods Loop. There should be that 390. There's the 390. That should be that. That that's good. Speed. This is when I was supposed to arrive at Davin uh, at Abington, so um, I'll just have to edit the timings a bit. By a bit, I mean an awful lot. I'll, I'll probably do about. Why not just put on the beams? Uh, I can't go over 75 though, because that's the speed limit of this train, and I think the speed limit of these wagons? I'm not sure what the speed limit of these wagons is. I'm really not sure, although I should probably be taking another picture because it'll be a while before I see another AI train, I think. It really doesn't look very curved, but then when you zoom in it is very curved. But that's because of zooms and stuff and how they work. And science. Oh, we're going up again and I'm losing a bit of speed. feels so good to be going at this speed when I've been crawling at 20. I've been crawling at 20 miles an hour for so long and now I power forward. One, 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 I, I don't know why I did that, but uh, I'm in a happy mood now that I'm moving at more than 20 miles an hour. And this is fun. It's this point I love trains. Just, I've got my own, I'm in a 66, hang on, why is it red? Have I missed a train? No, I haven't missed a train. So why is that signal red? Probably just 40. But... Ah, the momentum on this thing must be massive, because I've got 1,250 tons on the back. I've got this thing, which isn't exactly small. So, I've got a shed load of momentum up, and if there's a guy on the track, I'm not going to be able to stop. So here's a lesson, kids. Don't take selfies on the track, my goodness! Anybody who takes a selfie on the track that's not on a level crossing and with incredible and with lookouts to make to, so that they can scream shit train and or with when the beepy things happen because that's what you know anyway if you if you don't take those oh don't crash on me don't you dare crash on me if you don't take those precautions when taking a selfie on the track you are an a moron an ill thought out brat and you need to go and educate yourself because otherwise you will die prematurely now some people may argue that that's a good thing i i disagree with that because i don't think 
killing people is a good thing. Although, if you happen to take a selfie on the track and are hit by a train, I have little sympathy for you. I have sim sympathy for your family because they've lost somebody who they loved, and also your friends because for the same reason. But if you yourself have gone onto the track to take a selfie and then have got surprised that you're hit by a train or you are nearly hit by a train, then my god, you're thick. My god, you're thick. As thick as... Eamon Holmes is fat. That one. Um... As It's getting to twilight time. Um, that was a My Little... Uh, yeah, screw it. My Little Pony reference. Let's put that one in. It's time. It's twilight time. Woo! Um, sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. I can get camp sometimes. But it's coming up to the time where twilight happens. Um, and that sounds like the trailer for something on... Channel 5. And now, I every day, it's time for the next instalment of Twilight, of this Twilight movie number 2. We've been streaming it for the past week, because every 15 minutes we need to go to ad breaks. And so we haven't actually had a chance. To watch the this full movie. Come on, come on. I'm going over this slightly too fast and now I want to, now I'm braking. Oh no, I'm not braking. Now I'm braking. Although it is 40. So Right. I ease myself in. I'm going to maintain this as I roll forwards. This is pretty flat, which is quite good. What time am I supposed to leave? 25, so that's fine. Oh, they've got a green light as well, and I've been cut off. So, the train should be passing quite soon. Now, of course, in real life, I'd probably be stopping a bit further back than I would do otherwise, than I would do now because obviously I've got a task to fill which is to stop at the Abingdon, at this Abingdon down loop part. No, wrong way. Although actually, actually it's not in that, that, that stupid a position to be fair. Come on. Okay, I'm in. Now it's in a decent position. And now it's time for the obligatory music.
So obviously I'm going to have to update the description of that. Um, the uh, stopping stroke instruction I've had at Abingdon so that it says the train passes at about 25 so that I continue to... Well, I'll be... Con so I'll continue shortly after that, won't I? I'll probably increase the timing from about 17 or 18 to 26. That's what I'll do, I think. Meanwhile, I can take my parking brake off, release the brakes, and get moving at a speed that's 40 miles an hour. Here we go, my beautiful shed is having a nice old tug at some wagons. That is not a euphemism. That is not a euphemism. Although, well, it is a euphemism, but it wasn't meant as a euphemism. There we go. Oh, I've got wheel slip. I've got wheel slip! Sixty-two, seventy-five. Yeah, that's good. Oh, no. I think 75% is... Oh, no. 75% now. 82, 87 rather? Yeah, come on. 100 may be pushing it, but I'm going to try. It's the DRS 66 for the win. And I... Ooh, I like these lights. I haven't got the, light, the Armstrong Powerhouse lighting enhancement pack. Um, I'm probably... I don't think it's a thing... I'm, it's not really a thing I'm planning... I don't know. Come on. Gosh. This thing accelerates slowly, but when one realises how much weight it's dragging behind it, you know, these things are impressive. Um, I think it's a decent size, I think. Ooh! Voyager! I do love a Voyager. Well, not love, I mean... To be honest, I'm vaguely indifferent to Voyager's existence. To be honest, um... I don't... Loads of people say loads of things how they stink and so on, but... I haven't really noticed that, to be honest. I genuinely haven't. So that's Edinburgh to Birmingham. The next one is quite a way away, so I'm probably going to have to take a picture of the train on its own. 
and where better to do it than this dark stretch oh gosh it's going to be one of these where nobody's going to be able to see anything out of the cab I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm very very sorry Come on. Ooh, van. I'm easily excitable. Oh, screw you, pylon. Is that a good... I think that's good. Changing screen brightness and all that lot. Seven now, and more power will be exerted. No, there won't be, because there isn't any more power to give. Hmm, exciting. Actually, I'm going to talk a bit about Armstrong Powerhouse, because Armstrong Powerhouse have announced their routes, the Wherry Line. So that's Norwich to Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft. Quite good. Um, it would have been quite nice to have the little branch off up to Cromer and Sheringham, but to be fair, the Wherry Lines, you know, it's... I don't know how much they're going to release it for. Oh, you can see how it's light. Oh. Uh, oh no, don't tell me it's frozen. Something has frozen, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Okay. Um... I don't know why that's a screenshot, but it goes from there to there. I mean, that's that's a light change and a half. And so they've released that for a price, actually. Shall I check it? Shall I check it? Shall I check it? Shall I check it? A P Wary Lines. Yeah, this. Um, yeah, it's going to be. It should be good. I, I, I've got reasonably high hopes for this, as it is Armstrong Powerhouse. I'm not sure how much they're going to release it. My guess is it will probably be for twenty-five pounds. Um, which you can ch decide whether that's fair or not. I'm not quite sure the total length of the route, but given it has a reasonable amount of driving opportunity, and as long as they include a decent number of trains, I think it should be good. And by a decent number of trains, I do mean a decent number of trains, you know. Um, I think... DRS Class 37... Oh, they should really include the DRS Class 37. Uh, um, I think a Class 156 in Greater Anglia livery. Ooh, maybe they're not doing it in modern... Any, uh, Class 156 in Greater Anglia livery. DR, um, DRS Mark II is to go with the Class 37. Because that's a thing that happens. Maybe DRS Class 47 as well? And maybe a 153. Greater Anglia um, reskin for the Just Trains 153 but it should definitely come with some trains I think 
there are all the trains that we need in game, it's just a question of reskinning and them updating their sounds and so on. Which you know, that could be fun. The time now is 1934, so at 1939 I'm going to take a screenshot of the train on its own. Which, you know, sounds fun. I have a screenshot system and I can tell it, say, tell it to you now. Essentially, on busy uh, routes where more, there are more than two tracks, I wait for there to be more than two trains. So for some of my Brighton mainline scenarios, on the quadruple track bits, I make there should be at least two trains two other trains for me to take a screenshot because then it looks nice and busy. Um, then for double track I take um, a screenshot uh, every time a train passes me and then if five minutes or something like that goes without there being an AI train I just take a picture of the train on its own. So you get a feel for the AI identity, you get a feel for the scenario from the screenshots. And you know that I I do like that screenshot system. May not be the best one, but I don't care. And that means I can't stand looking at the screenshots for anyone else's scenarios because they don't seem to have a system. Anyway, this is for the thirty nine. Power and speed and the rest of it. Also got to gently keep an eye on the real world time because I do have to go at some point, not for another hour and a half or something, but you know. It's exciting. Stars are twinkling. And what the heck? Ooh, some clouds. Oh, that's nice. It's getting a bit foggy as well, which is also fun. It's good. Got a bit of effect here. And I've got greens all the way. This virgin train that's ahead of me is way, way, way ahead of me. Yeah, that's where it is, so you know fun 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 so that's what I have to do Eddie timings at Abingdon I really don't like the fact that Steam keeps telling me not to tell anyone my password because I, I know I'm not a moron. I mean, I know there are quite a few morons on Steam, the sort of morons who will come across your profile and start posting, post, posting? Yes, they'll start posting. Posting is the sort of thing that um, bees do in poos. Um, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's a 
pun. Stop judging me. Anyway. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, but there are idiots on Steam, and I've noticed that some uh, the, the higher the level of your profile, and the more sort of prolific it is, the more morons who come on and start shouting at you. So, I, I don't get very many. In fact, the thing that gets me annoyed the most... Ah, it's a Tesco thing. In fact, the thing that gets me annoyed the most is actually the fact that people never seem to read my profile and always seem to add me without reading it and therefore don't realise I have to add a comment explaining why. And I do that purely because I don't want loads and loads of people adding me. Ah, the Tesco train. I can't go over 75. So I've got to... It's very long. Some will have counted how many it is. Not as long as an American train, because an American train is flipping massive! Gosh, how large... I, I don't know why. I don't know why they need to be so big. But, apparently they do. Ooh, save. Um, I don't know why they need to be so... huge. It's... <laughs> it's... Well, it's exciting. It's very, very exciting, apparently. And this, what I'm doing now, is why I love Train Simulator. They currently have... there haven't actually been any hitches, to be fair. This has been a reasonably trouble-free run. And despite the fact that there's... the... the 66 doesn't sound great and is a reskin, but they stuck it on the West Coast Mainline Train Valley and they didn't do the 68. This, I have liked this run. I've found doing commentary on it for so long quite hard. But then, hey ho. Oh gosh. This is single yellow, isn't it? Okay, so it just... my recording just cut out instead. So you've not missed much. Or anything, actually. But, um, my recording cut out for a split second there. Um... The game froze for an awfully long time, and then my recording cut out. So I can safely reveal the reason why de we're delayed is because of Voyager! So people can blame Voyagers for anything they want. If you specifically want to, okay. I think I can give it about 50% and sort of coast about 30 miles an hour. Because I've got my um, single yellow. And as a person who's never been to Carstairs, or Scotland for that matter, I can comment on the appallingness of the Class 66 horn. Oh my gosh, that's shocking. That horn, I mean, that's closer to a networker. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much.
so, so much, so much, that I could punch you in the face. Hard. Hundred percent isn't isn't worth it. Seventy five percent is. Oh, I've got green, so that's fine. I start right from the beginning, but hey ho. Trade spotting at car stairs would be a fun scenario. Yeah, I'm getting up speed now. That will be green ahead of me, I'm fine. There aren't any trains around. Win, 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 win. ages ago since I passed that class those trains coming out of Carlisle and yet it was 1738 it was two hours ago two hours and ten minutes ago nearly so yeah it was bloody ages ago saying before about this because I've got my train I'm sort of moving along I'm not really having to worry about much anymore you know I'm enjoying this run I'm really really enjoying it this is one of the scenarios that I'm enjoying playing and I'll I'll, I'll obviously iron out the mistakes that they have that I've seen and that I've spotted but that's um, what happens when I play these kind of things for the first time. Sometimes they're pretty good. In fact, most of the time they're pretty good, but sometimes there are problems which I have to sort out before I do anything. That's fine. You know? I'm quite... I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that, but... Also, there are other ones. Why did I say... There are also times where I genuinely detest playing the scenario. Part Sometimes because I've done it so many times before. And maybe sometimes because I'm just not finding it that exciting. I'm not in the mood. But this is a scenario I've genuinely enjoyed. And I'm pleased about that. And I hope you lot are pleased too. Yay! I don't know why I finished like that, but, um, stuff. Anyway, 
back we go. That was Ravens through her? Ravens... That one. The coal terminal. No, it wasn't. That was that one. This was the line from La Lanark. And this is a level crossing. Which is fun. Expected? Maybe. I'm going, uh, I've got myself. Ooh, I'm slowing down slightly, actually, now. A bit of a gradient slash incline. Enjoying this. This is good. Ooh, I should probably take a picture of the train on its own. Ooh, is that frost? No, it's just weird white things. for the fact that I presume you can't actually see anything. This is because Fraps is slightly weird. And you haven't actually been able to see things since about Abingdon. be the judge of that. I'm finding it exciting. You lot maybe don't even care. And it's frozen again. And now it's unfrozen. That's that's really weird, because usually when it freezes for that period of time, it just crashes. The game just goes... <coughs> but this time it just freezes for ages and then goes back on. That's really weird. That's really very weird. Did you not hear that beep? What's a beep? That's weird. That's weird. Oh well. Oh well. And I'm exceeding my ETA. I'm well exceeding it, actually. This is pretty good. I'm on a roll. I'm not, actually. I'm sitting on a chair. If I were on a roll, that would be, in that would be an incredible balancing act, unless it was a very, very large roll. Or a burger. I just made a pun on rolls, and I'm incredibly proud of myself. Are you proud of me? Do comment down below, or not. I don't mind. I quite fancy some cake, but I'm not. I, I can't really have cake while speaking. 
then it would just be horrible because you would be listening to me eat cake. And there's only one thing worse than listening to somebody eating while you're trying to eat. There's listening to somebody eating while you're, while you, while you're not eating. It's the most horrible sound. I find that when I am eating, I don't notice the eating noises around me. When I'm not eating, they're really quite prolific, actually. They're really, really quite prolific. Prolific is also a very good word, and I like the word prolific. Prolific. Although not as good as another P word, which is pragmatic, which describes me rather well. Smiley face. Cake. I don't know why I'm obsessed with cake. So, have we passed through Karluk? No, Karluk is just there. He started at 12.13, it's now 19... It will be 12.28. So we'll have been going for 8 hours and a quarter. Not fully in game, but 8 hours and a quarter. That's an awfully long time. And most of that has been in game. Because if you think about it, there was the hour up to Stafford. Well, more like hour and 15 minutes up to Stafford. So that leaves seven hours left. Nah, I'm not going to take a screenshot. So that takes it down to, um... That's a real freight train spotting thing. It's fun, it's brilliant. Pity the sounds were... Anyway, so that's seven hours from Stafford. We've then done three hours minus 10 minutes, so 4 hours 10 minutes um, and then on the other one, I can't remember um, think Felix, think, think, think because from Preston ah oh gosh I mean, we'll have covered most of that journey, I my estimate, not guesstimate, guesstimate is the worst thing, it's not a word, and people use it. Anybody who uses the word guesstimate is a tit. A bird. Blue tit. And I'm not talking about a, something that's cold. <sighs> anyway. This is my warning to go down to 50, I think. I'm not allowed to turn my cab light on. And I have, anyway. Oh, that's a thing. I, I took a train recently. From, uh, into King's Cross. I got a 365. And uh, the train stopped at Potter's Bar. And then the driver. The driver came up over the, um... Intercom thing and said, and th this is genuinely word for word what he said. Oh, hello. I'm going to have to pause my telling of the story here while I go and take a screenshot of this beast. It's a 7666 combination. Oh, that's quite cool. That's quite cool. So, snap that. 
Anyway, uh, this is word for word what the driver said on the over the intercom at Potter's Bar the first time. He said, I apologise as there will now be a slight delay to this service. It's quite embarrassing really. I need to go to the toilet rather urgently. I think that, that that's probably that's the second best announcement I've ever heard. Um, the first best, if you're interested, is an announcement I heard when I was quite small and it was in the days of Connect Southeastern. And the driver just came over the intercom and said, This train is a disaster. And then that was it. And that was quite funny, I thought. Did you think it was funny? Do write in. Oh, there's going to be another beast soon. Ah, and hopefully you will hear the Dezero sound pack if it's not uninstalled itself, which the uh, only thing I gripe about with Armstrong Powerhouse sound packs is they do occasionally randomly uninstall themselves, and that's quite annoying. That's why I had that video where I was praising these Armstrong Powerhouse sounds the entire time when they weren't Armstrong Powerhouse sounds. I just thought they were, because I had the sound pack installed. Oh, no, no, no. I should probably save. Saving is occurring. Saving is not occurring. Saving is saving. And it's exciting. Here we go, here we go, here's a train. Must have just left that station, which I think it has, that's Wishaw. And because there isn't a destination on the 380 for Lanark, I just have to improvise with dot dot dot. randomly and it stalled itself. That's called train spotting. That's the diverging line off to um, Shieldmuir. And I'm braking for a 60. I'm unbraking now. Uh, no, I've got to keep the brakes on because otherwise momentum will take me down this hill rather quickly. And I don't want to go down this hill rather quickly. I want to go down this hill at a stately speed. Also, I can take the sander off. Oh, no, don't... F oh, gosh, that, that... The point where this freezes for so long is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh no, now I'm slowing down far too much. I 
And now, the moment I take the sander off, I need the sander. Bloody typical. Bloody, bloody typical. Still wheel slip. And this is a viaduct that hasn't quite spawned into existence yet. Appreciate it if it did spawn into existence now. In the Come on, come on. Spell it. Boom. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm excited and I'm also on it. <sighs> this is... Ah, these lines are confusing. I've never done this bef these before. Not in a passenger train, let alone in one of these things, so... Navigating them is slightly hard. I apologise for any epileptic fits any anyone had because of that. Oh, that's that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I, I like that. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. I need to retime this train then. Def, I need to retime this train. Now I'll just take it, but I'm going to need to retime it so that we actually do see it. Because, you know, this isn't going to be seen by a normal person. They'll be wondering why they needed this reskin. So retime the 4S 6S48 I'll make it 5 to 10 minutes later Again, there's a station. I'm going to do a bit of freight train spotting, because why not? I'm... Oh, fuck you! I'm sorry for the language. I apologise for the language. That spoilt it a lot. Here, I am reminded of my Class 91 video when I meant, went on a massive rant. And I'm going to do it again, screw them. Why? No, seriously, because I've driven the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 31... No, the Class 319 with the Armstrong Powerhouse sounds. What well, it has um, DSD, AWS. But every single time you're not in the cab, 
and one of those things goes off, you know what happens? There's a little thing in the... There's a little message in the corner which says, Alarm active. Lists the alarm, then you press Q or E or whatever. And the alarm goes away, and you, your train isn't chucked into emergency brake. Just trains, what they do is the alarm sounds absolutely everywhere. So if there's an AWS warning and you're not in the cab, you still hear it. If there's a DVD warning and you're not in the cab, you still hear it. And yet, and yet, and yet... That train was never meant to be seen, to be fair. And yet, what happens is these... Oh, these absolute... Oh. <laughs> these people don't... Thompson, Dovetail Games, they don't create things... To have such a simple... There's such a simple solution here. It's incredibly simple. I really should put nighttime lights on, shouldn't I? Get the brakes all the way to the bottom. Then off I go. Those two trains are purely there, so that if anyone's late, they do get a bit of AI or, or early or stuff. I mean, I do add a bit of extra AI. Even when it's not needed. This is quite a nice little yard, Moss End Yard. Ah, I'm going to stay here until my train comes. Right, Sander engaged. I actually don't need to accelerate all the way that much. I think 75 is pretty fair, to be fair. Here it comes. That's a nice over... Oh no, it's frozen, it's frozen. Ah! Shh. This is the longest it's ever... Oh my gosh, that's... That's... Crazy. Now... Let's get this over with, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sorry.
go. This is 40 comes up. Ooh, that's a sharp bend. That is a sharp bend. Very sharp. And very a bend. Now. Don't don't even question it. Don't even question my brain. Ooh. Oh, hello. And that's far too much on the brake. Welcome to Whiffland. Speed. A bit of speed. Quite a lot of speed, actually. Well, no. Oh, I nearly missed it. Oh, gosh. Thirty-seven. Does that do it? Then it goes to twenty, and then to five. There's. To be honest. Coverage Central. They must be used to this. Because these beasts rumble through all the time. I hate you. Oh, hello. Hello, Class 70. No need to have the sander on now. I don't know how I'm going to maintain five miles an hour. That's going to be the test of a true driver. That is a test. That is a test. That separates the drivers from the people who can move trains a bit. Nice and busy, though. don't like the fact that my train merges through this bit. Not particularly good. This is going to be boring, and I apologise as we go into Coat Bridge. I've got to stay very alert. 
I also say 5A because I want the player to go right the way to the end. Right the way to the end. arrived quite early quite quite early It was, of course, that at this point the fraps crashed. So, um, and of course, causing fraps to crash. Of course, when fraps crashed, I had to relaunch fraps, and when fraps relaunched, train simulator crashed. So I've got back to the point I was roughly before I um kind of got. get there and let's finish this three hour marathon. Awful lot of weights, but you know, I think it was worth it myself. I hope you enjoyed this video and this welcome back or I'm back on YouTube video. Um, and... Stuff. And so, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, if you've watched all this way, then I, I'm great. You're amazing. And I, I, I don't know why. You've obviously not got much else going on. Um, obviously denied. Uh, I can do this because I'm on half-term. It has actually taken me an awful lot of half-term to record this. I started recording it on Monday. I'm now finishing recording it on Friday. Um, so I've had bits and cutouts in between. I recorded the main bulk on Friday. That... Um, but I did start recording it on Monday, so you know. Quite a lot of it. I have spent quite a long time on this video, although it doesn't look like it. I've just sort of bubbled, bam. I've just sort of waffled on for three hours, and that was that. Um, so, exciting stuff. It will probably go out as one massive video. 
Oh, I'm not sure, will it? Hmm, you'll see. You'll see how many parts I do it in. But, um, thank you very much for watching. If you've watched this far, I've already addressed you. If you haven't watched this far, I don't need to address you because you're not watching this bit. Um, unless you are, in which... if you, And if you've skipped forward, then great. I... I... fantastic. I do need to go all the way forward. Pause break. Pause break so I can take a screenshot of this. I have done it. I have arrived into Cote Bridge. I bloody won. Something like that. That should do it. <laughs> finished. Eight minutes early, but I bloody finished. <sighs> I feel achieved, and now I'm going to go out and I'm going to have a lunch. I'm going to have a large lunch. I quite like lunch. Lunch is quite tasty, but... Um... <laughs> so, um, I have completed it. I should add a message at the end, and I'm going to add a message at the end. That was that. That was the marathon of me returning back to YouTube. The 4S5512013 Daventry DRS to Coatbridge FLT Part 4, all the way from Carlisle to Coatbridge. Um... This is a YouTube video, so you can like it if you want, you can also dislike it, you can also comment, and you can also subscribe to the channel, because I have a YouTube channel, and this is why the video is being uploaded. So, brilliant. I will see you lot. I won't see you lot. I will speak to you lot in another video. I will be having another one-sided conversation uh, with... I No. A one-sided conversation doesn't exist with a person. I will be having another one-sided conversation with you in another video. Um, probably Papers, Please, maybe Cook, Serve, Delicious. I'm not quite sure yet. So, take care, and goodbye.